it's Troy from Bookseller Academy. Uh, today we're gonna talk about action labels and what action labels are and how it works with our software. So um, typically when we list books, we like listing things in batches and uh, we separate the books into different conditions. Uh, we found out that when you actually change a condition note, you constantly have to go back to the to the software to change the condition note manually. So what these action labels actually do for us, um, you don't have to go back to the to the listing software. You could just actually just look at, uh, you could actually just scan the barcode. And when you scan this barcode, it will automatically change the condition for you. So let me show you how that kind of works. So if you go to list FBA and then list products, um, Typically, when you list, uh, you would you would split up all the books into separate piles, whether if it's a good book or if it's a acceptable book. Or in our case, we have a lot of conditions um, specifically for good or good books that have highlighting or have a small de dedication on the first or second page or if it had if it was a former library book so um for us to go back back and forth to the software to actually change the condition note um you could actually print out if you go under update condition notes and this is where all your existing condition notes are stored you can actually print out a label specifically for that condition note so the way that you set this up is uh, you could print out, for example, let's print out this good label right here or uh, this good condition note um, with this uh, scan label. And what this does, it'll bring out a label that you could scan and that it will, once you scan it in the software, it will change the condition note for you as you list. So if you have everything in batches, uh, let's say, you have just a pile of good books and then your next batch is a pile of very good books, you would simply scan this condition note and it will change it for you. So let's go and actually try this out from a FBA standpoint. So this also works for when you're listing uh, fulfilled by merchant, uh, but let's go ahead and start it off with just the list FBA standpoint. So typically you would scan your barcode here, uh, set a default price, and then set your cost of goods, and then your quantity. So for now, we're gonna set this up as a very good book, okay? But if you wanna change the condition note, you simply scan the barcode. Condition note changed. And that barcode will actually change the book to a different condition. Well, I actually scanned a very good book, so, um, or a very good condition note. Um, let's go ahead and try to change it to maybe an acceptable condition. Condition note changed. So you can see that the condition note changed from acceptable with this particular condition note. So acceptable has a CD included. It's a readable copy, pages and cover are intact, ships directly from Amazon. Uh, let's try another one. Let's change the condition note to good. Condition note changed. So you could see that the condition note has been changed to a good condition note, but in, in particular, this is a former library book. So um, you can see how powerful this kind of gets when um, you have multiple conditions and you're doing things in, in big batches. So if you have a big batch of library books and then you're moving on to, let's say, another batch of books that have like a small dedication on the first or first uh, first pages, you could scan the barcode. Sorry. Condition it took me a while. note changed. Let's go ahead and try this out with when you're listing a merchant fulfilled product. So same process here, um, you're setting a default price and then your cost of goods, the quantity, 
shipping per order and the ship uh, the per pound per order and let's put in a uh, shelf location let's put it in as five okay right now it's set to very good and we're gonna change the barcode or we're gonna change the condition to an acceptable condition condition note changed so you can see that the condition note has changed um, but yeah you can see how this process when you're listing things in batches how efficient you can be when you're when you have these labels uh, let's say around um, near the top of your table and we do this so that way when we separate these books we just have a label on top and as we're changing the condition note from uh, a different area we're just scanning that barcode and just looking at the screen and then the condition note is changing for us so i hope this helps you out in understanding how uh powerful our software can be and how it can uh, could improve your operations from a book selling standpoint um, if you have any questions uh, feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you